Foundation with additional help from the Deep South Regional Humanities Center at Tulane University, the South Atlantic Regional Humanities Center at the University of Virginia, the Central, Central Regional Humanities Center at Ohio University, and the American Dialect Society. So we're pleased to show that linguistics bridges uh, the space between the social sciences and humanities. In terms of the University of Alabama, within the, uh, well, uh, Sponsorship from the Office of Academic Affairs, the Anonymous Lecture Fund at the College of Arts and Sciences, the College of Communication and Information Sciences, the College of Education, and within the College of Arts and Sciences itself, individual departments, of, of course, English and Modern Languages and Classics, History, the Bankhead History Endowment, uh, the Department of Psychology, Department of American Studies, African American Studies Program, Department of Anthropology, and in addition, the Office of the Graduate School. We'd especially like to acknowledge the enthusiasm and support of our dean, Bob Owen, who has been tremendous through the years that we have been uh, writing the grants and planning the conference and so on. And now he would like to uh, say a few words of welcome to Dean Robert Owen of the College of Arts and Sciences of the University of Alabama. Good morning. Uh, I want to say with Michael, it's, I wake up in the morning and as I'm uh, shaving everything, I do listen to Alabama Public Radio, and it's been very pleasing to listen to the announcement of this conference. On behalf of the University of Alabama, President Robert Witt, and the 350 faculty in the College of Arts and Sciences, I welcome you to the campus for this third conference on language variety in the South and the concurrent meeting of the Southeastern Conference on Linguistics, hosted by the Department of Modern Languages and Classics and the Department of English. Dr. Witt sends his regrets. He and Provost Judy Bonner are in Huntsville today at our system board of trustees meeting. We talked about the finances for next fiscal year. I think we won them there. They both send their greetings and best wishes. We are proud to have you all here today, especially those who have traveled a long way to be with us. Thank you very much. I must say I'm very impressed with the wealth of knowledge and discourse that will go on at this conference. I've looked through the very uh, thick conference book with admiration and interest. The remarkable number of presentations, some 160, is only overshadowed by the richness of the topics that will be discussed, Latino language issues, Creole, Louisiana French, Indian Jesus, languages, the Creek language, all sorts of conversation of Southern American English and African American English. Topic of word, order, and kinship. The list goes on. This conference continues an important academic specialty at the University of Alabama, one that owes much to the work of the late Dr. James B. McMillan. And I'm pleased that by its content, it is impressively advances our appreciation of human diversity and an important component to education and life at the University of Alabama in general and the College of Arts and Sciences in particular. Few things are as diverse as human languages and the cultures that they reflect. Your conference will, I'm sure, produce important insights and new discoveries about how that fascinating diversity has come about and what it tells about ourselves in our world. Many scholars will look forward to seeing the volume of work that will come out of this symposium. Our thanks go to those agencies that have supported this conference, which Catherine mentioned. Thanks to our plenary speakers, Professor Bailey, Lipsky, Montgomery, Ruquini, Monroe, and Wolfram for taking the time and effort to share their work with us. An enormous amount of work you've heard over four years, as goes into making a successful conference. And I hope you will join me in thanking our cohort of organizers, Professor Michael Bacone and Catherine Davies, and all their hardworking colleagues for pulling this off beautifully. Let's give them a call. <laughs> Enjoy this conference in our beautiful spring weather. A couple of days ago, you would have thought you were in Chicago in January. <laughs> But it's turned around for you. Thank you for coming.
before I introduce Michael, just two real quick logistical items. Uh, one is that for all the lab discussions, uh, you will either be taking place here in the theater or in the Ferguson Forum. To get to the Ferguson Forum from here, you, take the, you can take the first flight of stairs right at the outside entrance of the theater, go upstairs, you go uh, short ways, you'll see on your right the Ferguson Forum. There's actually four entrances of the Ferguson Forum all the way around it. The one that you'll come to first is the entrance to the ramp, but you can go to the other, the other entrances if you prefer. That's the Ferguson Forum. All lab sessions are either going to be here in the theater or in the Ferguson Forum. Uh, for sea call sessions, and for there's always at least one parallel sea call session for every lab uh, session and lab sessions. Um, for sea call sessions, you instead of stopping at Ferguson Forum, you keep going all the way down to the to the end of the hall, so you can't go any further. Turn right and go further, and you'll see uh, the, the rooms will be closed, and you'll see the rooms for the, for the sea call sessions. You'll be going back and forth from here to those uh, to those sessions. For people who need to take an elevator or who want to take an elevator. Uh, it's right behind this, set, this flight of stairs over here. Just go behind the flight of stairs to see the elevators. There's also another flight of stairs at the other end of the Ferguson Center. If you're down at that end, you don't have to come all the way back up here to, to go upstairs. You can do it from the other end. The other logistical item is uh, has to do with lunch. Uh, we Our lunch is uh, our, our is a little bit late, from 1 to 2. It just turned out with the scheduling. And it worked out better that way, but there's also a good reason for that. It's simply, it's simply that it's done. Thursday and Friday, you will not be competing as much with students. They won't be spending you know, half of your lunch hour waiting in line to get lunch. Uh, so on Thursday and Friday, uh, lunch, well, all days, lunch is from 1 to 2. Uh, and so just make sure that uh, you don't get too impatient waiting for lunch uh, so that you can't concentrate on the, on the presentations. And with that, then I would like to turn our attention to that first presentation to kick off uh, Labs 3. And it's very fitting that it should be Michael Montgomery. Uh, I take a special pleasure in introducing Michael. Uh, he's Professor Emeritus of English and Linguistics at the University of South Carolina in Columbia. Along with Guy Bailey, he organized the first Language Variety in the South Conference at the University of South Carolina in 1981 and was co-editor of the uh, proceedings uh, that followed. He was also a plenarist at Labs II at Auburn 11 years ago. So it is obviously fitting that he should now uh, kick off Labs III. Over the years, uh, he has worked extensively on many varieties and issues on the English of the American South, but especially in two areas, its transatlantic connections and the language of Southern Appalachia. And I forgot to bring the book. Hold on. This is his, this is his bodacious dictionary of Smoky Mountain English co-edited with Joseph Hall. Okay, it's on, it will be on sale, it's on sale here. There will be a book display stand set up, hopefully it'll be set up, it should be set up already, it might be a little bit late, it'll be right across from the Ferguson Theater and there'll be books on display there, including this one. Um, <clears throat> that was, uh, the, the, this uh, was the result of, of uh, it was just published last month as the result of 14 years of labor. Also, with James B. McMillan, he is editor of Annotated Bibliography of Southern American English, which is the standard work in the field. Uh, and he has very kindly brought five copies of this book to give away as prizes to students who enter their names at the registration desk. So we'll set something up for this for uh, uh, graduate students or undergraduate students uh, who want to be in a, a raffle, if you will, for five copies of this uh, important book. Michael has served as assistant editor of the Linguistic Atlas of the Gulf States and language editor of the Encyclopedia of Southern Culture and the Encyclopedia of Appalachia. He has edited an e-book on Bella and has written a new introduction to the recent reprinting of Lorenzo Dow Turner's Africanisms in the Gullah Dialect. Currently, he is president of the American Dialect Society. Today, his topic is the crucial century for English in the American South. <laughs> 